What is going on, guys? Reflex here, and we are another episode down of The Last of Us, this episode four. And honestly, this might be the first episode where it was actually so good to the point where it made another episode better. So, in episode three, my main gripe was that the potential that we won't get to see the funny little truck scene where she goes through the magazine and just that whole entire just little interaction with Joel and going through Bill's stuff that was in his truck. But it's funny because at the beginning of episode four, after they get done getting gas and all that, there actually is that moment where she goes through, she grabs the tape and then she goes through this little magazine and you get that little interaction of, wow, how does he walk around with that thing? And then, you know, why are the pages stuck together? And it's, it just made up for it. I mean, see me, I did not care about the changes from the last episode at all. I thought the episode was really, really good, but the potential that we would not get that interaction was kind of disappointing, but the fact that we did get it just made up for everything else. That like now, the previous episode was perfect and this episode <laughs> just started off great. But this was the first time that we actually get to see Ellie and Joel have a one-on-one -on -one interaction where they're actually, you know, starting to open up to each other. I mean, you see Joel throughout the episode really you know, opening up to Ellie. Ellie's cracking all of her jokes. The No Pun Intended Volume 2 book that is also in the game. But it was actually like in a pretty just nice episode. Well, all things considered of the situation that happens in the episode. But they make their way to Kansas City, which I believe in the game it's Pittsburgh. But they make their way. There's a guy that's saying that he's hurt. And then it just like the game, Joel tells Ellie to put her seatbelt on because the guy is faking, he drives through, and they end up crashing in the end, and they're in this little, uh, I don't even know, they're just this little building. Now in the game, it's very hectic missions from start to finish, like it's just insane, and Ellie helps you fight. But the thing is, in this one, they actually, they take something that happens in the hotel, because in the hotel is where Joel almost dies, and he drowns, but in the, in the show, this is the moment where it's not that he drowns, but he's getting choked. And this is the first time that Ellie actually, well, she doesn't actually get her first kill here. She shoots him, which is more than enough. I mean, it solidifies his death because Joel isn't going to let him live. But in the game, I'm pretty sure she says the words like, I just shot the hell out of him or something like that. And that was her first kill. But in this one, it was not. And it was kind of interesting because after she shot him, you could tell a lot was going through her head. But instead of Joel comforting her and letting her know, like, everything's going to be fine, you know, don't even think about it, blah, blah, blah. Just trying to comfort her in that moment because a lot of things were going through her head. He actually tells her to go back through the hole in the wall. And at that point, she wipes away the tears and she's not even thinking about it anymore. And she says later in the episode, that's not even the first person. Well... Joel kind of picks up on it that that's not the first person she hurts and we'll probably figure that out later on when we get to the whole Riley, you know, the Riley DLC, but in the show episodes. But we actually see a original to the show thing with Kathleen and pretty much her rebellion group that actually took over a QZ from Fedra and she seems like an interesting leader, a little ruthless, but the cool thing is what I want to call her right hand man I don't know I forgot what they said there his name was because there was a making of and the person was actually talking but there was a person in that episode that was her right hand man that pretty much sounded exactly like Tommy and then when you get to the inside the making of that episode you come to find out that that is Tommy from the game but he's actually just his own character so there is going to be a lot of those moments where old characters come back to to play new characters or in Marlene's case come back to play herself but I knew that I was hearing Tommy when he was speaking because he didn't bother changing his voice I don't think I think that was like a special nod that if, if people could just listen and all of a sudden like just catch on and like oh wait hold on that sounds familiar and then you figure out that that's Tommy later because I mean it sounded just like Tommy and I just didn't think of anything of it because I was like, all right, just a little accent, but nah, that now it makes perfect sense. But that group is actually the ones chasing Henry and Sam, and you see Henry and Sam at the very end of the episode, so the next, I want to say we might get them for two episodes. I don't know if they'd be willing to do all of Henry and Sam's episodes in one, 
or a little arc in one episode they might it just really depends because i mean given i don't know exactly how many episodes we have in this season but they might just do one episode because that might be just all you need but regardless it's going to be a good episode and in the game it's a pretty it's normally a suspenseful and kind of hard mission because you're sniping so i'm wondering if they're going to do that in the show and I also wonder how hectic it's going to be and if it will have the same emotions tied to it. Because it is an emotional arc that happens. But all in all, you know, I think Last of Us has not missed with an episode. And judging by how this episode started, mixed with the last episode, I have to now get... I don't know what I gave the last episode, but it's now getting a 10 out of 10. Because this episode is also getting a 10 out of 10 in terms of I got my interaction with the whole... Why are these pages stuck together and that whole thing? I thought it was great, but even with the interaction between Ellie and Joel, it just made the episode that much better. I do enjoy this little kind of just original story with this little rebellion group and having their own leader because it seems like there's going to be a lot in terms of that for these next episodes as well. So I'm kind of curious because in the game, you didn't deal with this. You didn't deal with a Kathleen at all, but now there's this whole Kathleen leader that you know, is looking for Henry and Sam because she feels wronged by him, and I'm just curious how this goes. Definitely looking forward to the future of it, though, because, man, it's this season's flying by fast, and I think because the Super Bowl is this Sunday, they're actually going to premiere the episode on a Friday instead as an early just streaming premiere, but in reality, it's because of the Super Bowl, but that's, hey, I'll take an earlier episode. But, man, I cannot wait because, I mean, these episodes have been flying by and they've been so great. I'm not, I'm really not ready for them to end, to be honest. Because with the confirmation that season two is going to be Last of Us Part Two, that just means we only got two seasons to this show and it's completely done, which is kind of disappointing in terms of I almost wish that this show would last forever. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of this episode. Did you enjoy it? Are you looking forward to the Henry and Sam episodes? And how are you liking the series as a whole? Are you enjoying it? Are you looking forward to season two? Do you wish that they would add at least another season that would put like in between games to where we could get an extra whole season that maybe original story that we might have not only have gotten in flashbacks and they actually just expand on it? Because if we know anything about what they've done with this game, they can expand on story that we didn't get in the original. I mean, the whole Bill and Frank thing was almost one of the better episodes even though it got review bombed i still think it was one of the better episodes in the series so far and that just shows that they could if they wanted to they could literally just do a whole entire season's worth of the timeline in between last of us part one and part two and it would probably work out perfectly but i know neil Druckmann's not going to do that but it would just be nice if hbo was like hey we want to do three seasons can you do something for us to try to make that a reality but he'd probably say no because neil Druckmann is a smart man when it comes to just wanting to tell his story and not really dwell too far away from the games bill and frank is the only kind of where he just strayed a little bit far away but it still wasn't that far the only drastic difference was their endings i should say but yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like subscribe and you guys know the drill i will see you guys later